Hello YouTube, I'd just like to talk about the new GMI slug mould. Um, I've ordered this in 2-2, um, very simple, comes in sections. Um, I've got uh, 30 grain and a 27 grain. Depends what you what type of slug you're making because it makes also is even better. You've got three pins. You make a. You see the different hollow points there. There's a short one, a long one, and that makes. I can focus properly. A dimple nose, which they all work perfectly fine. I've tested them. I'm getting sub MOA at 100 yards. Um, all different speeds depending on which one I'm using. But to be honest, I like to go heavy, so I use the 30 grain die. Simply place the base, uh, sorry, put the dimple in the bottom. Then simply push that on. Then you've got the basically the lid type thing. So it's ready now just to put um, some lead in. Lead blanks, easy make. Um, you can buy the lead wire, 4.5 mil. This is for 2.2. Two. Um, depend on what you're going to do, but you can cast your own. Simple. I've got two aluminium blocks, approximately 100 mil long. Just two, simple. Clamp them together. I just drill five holes, 4.5 mil, roughly, and then give them a quick polish. So you're left with that. And I like to heat heat them up so the lead flows better. Clamp them in a vice. Pour your molten lead in there. Open up. And then you, you end up with your blanks. Very easy to do. Very fast. You could soon get through a few hundred easy in an hour. Easy. Um, so anyway, I'll show you how to use them. Um, so we're ready just to put the blank in. So you just drop the blank in. And then it comes with two, two punches. One is a for a dish base. It's very hard to tell, um, but there is slight difference. One for a dish base, one for a flat base. They both work brilliant. Um, but you always have to start with a flat base first and then you follow up a dish base. So you simply just put that in so your die looks like this. And then if you come over to your arbor press, simply you want to give it a fast push down and then a little one after. Um, so like that. Add to a couple and then you lift the top off you're left with the the left the uh, bit that squelches out so I'll cut that off with a knife looks like that and then you're left with that and all I do is use a little machinist hammer just tap it I'll take my glove off You're left with a nice dimple nose slug. Really nice. These shoot brilliant. Um, highly recommend them. Um, I'm shooting them out of an FX Impact Power Planner. Um, the dimple ones, they they come out about 32 grain, which is brilliant. Um, I'm shooting them sub MOA 100 yards and at 960 feet per second with a superior heavy liner um, i've also used made these with hollow points both hollow shallow and deeper they work out to be about 28 29 grain which is good still good weight um shooting them over a thousand feet per second sub MOA. really brilliant highly recommend this company um the state on the internet a month about 30 days delivery, 28 to 30 days delivery. That's just a rough guide. It won't take that. Uh, mine come within about two weeks. It's just they have to cover the self so you're not disappointed. Um, but yeah, I'll do a hollow point now. So put the hollow point one in. That's in the 30 grain, yeah. Put the base on. Put the lid on. Drop the lead in. And then... Ooh. And then stick the plunger up. So 
So you've got your last bit, cut that off. And then I just, like I say, tap it on the table. I just think it's easier and faster for me. So there you go, hollow point. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Can't fault the kit. Every slug comes out absolutely perfect. Um, there is a technique. It's like I say, just a nice fast um, pull down on your hammer. You can get these arbor presses for next to nothing. They're like, I think I paid about 30 quid off eBay. Um, previously, on a different uh, mold, I was using, I used to use a vice, but it isn't the brilliant. Best off of one of these, get more pressure on it. Get a nice long handle, just a bit of steel I've extended. Um, cost peanuts and honestly nice rainy day you can make your own slugs 2-2 two -two. can't fault it hoping they're bringing out um, a heavier weight for me maybe 34 36 grain um, I've contacted them and asked them we'll see um, but hopefully I'll have a few molds to try soon um, and test um, yeah brilliant can't fault them but like I say Get yourself a couple of blocks of alloy, probably no more than 15 quid for both. Drill them out, cast your own lead, collect your own lead pellets, buy cheap lead pellets if you really want to, um, melt them down. But like you say, you've got these that come back out, remelt that, put them back in as a slug. Brilliant. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Contact GMI engineering online they've got several molds 177 22 25 30 35 and a 45 caliber um so yeah highly recommend thank you